And just like we can graph all the parent functions for exponential equations, we can now graph all the parent functions for log equations. y equals log base 4 of x. Ask yourself, first let's go to our expo exponential ones with that same base. How would you graph y equals 4 to the x? What were the two points we always included? All right, we always included 0 and 1, and we included 1 comma 4. You could find more points if you wanted by doing a table of values. We knew that our exponential graph swooped up like this, and that there was an asymptote at y equals 0. And all exponential equations had this general idea, right? Some of them swooped down if it was a fraction instead of increasing, but they had the same kind of idea. We're going to do the same thing with log graphs. They're all going to have the same general idea. Just like all exponential graphs have 0, 1, since log graphs are inverses of exponential graphs, all log graphs are going to have 1, 0. And since all exponential graphs have 1, whatever the base is, all log graphs are going to have the base, 1. Because an inverse graph just switches x and y. All log graphs are going to have an asymptote at x equals 0. And then it's going to swoop like that. Unless the base was less than 1, then it's going to swoop down the other way. So for a log graph, it will only have an x-intercept, and that x-intercept will always be at 1. The asymptote will always be x equals 0. The domain of our function here, x is bigger than 0 but not equal to 0. That's in set notation. You could also write it as 0 to infinity, both with round brackets. And our range is everything. Or you could write negative infinity to infinity. So that's how you would graph all log graphs. If it was log base 5, everything would be the same, except instead of 4, 1, you'd have 5, 1. If you were graphing log base 7, you'd have 7, 1 instead of 4, 1. Now, on page 378, we're going to add this example. We're going to graph this. This is another special logarithm. It's called the natural logarithm. And the reason it's LN is it comes from French, and they say logarithm before they say natural. So that's why it's written that way. And it is exactly the same as if you wrote a base E. Again, like the common log where we don't have to write the 10, the most common log used is the natural log. And so whenever you write ln as natural log, you don't have to write an e. You can imagine there's an e here, but you don't have to write it so it can just disappear. So how do we graph the natural log? Well, it's going to have which point that every single log graph has? 1, 0. 
And then it's going to have another point here, something comma 1. But now that our base is E, you'd have E comma 1. And our asymptote would still be at x equals 0. And the shape would still be the same. Sometimes, though, just seeing ln makes people feel even more uncomfortable than log. So this is the natural log graph. And when we get to 5.6, guess what we're going to do with these log graphs and every transformation we've done? <laughs> I it was a good groan, good groan. 